Two decades ago, Ukrainian tech company Skiv Tech was making paintball guns, allowing people to play at war. Today, the company focuses on producing simulators for real soldiers, and they've gone high-tech, says this employee who didn't give his last name for security reasons. You can try and lift it. A real stinger weighs 12-15 kilos. Ours is about 15 as well. The Skiff Tech simulator is made to mirror the design and control elements of the U.S. Stinger portable anti-aircraft missile system. With this, Ukrainian fighters can train in real time and practice their shots. Skiff Tech presented this simulator at the ITSEC 2024 exhibition, the world's largest modeling, simulation and training event. What we're making is quite unique. There are very few such inventions. In the 10 years Skiff Tech has been working with the military, they've made 27 different simulators. Some simulate grenade launchers, others anti-tank and anti-aircraft missile systems. But Obad is most proud of the company's individual infantry kit. We make wireless sensors that help fighters simulate a realistic battle scene, while not needing to wear large heavy vests. Sensors are much lighter than any American-made ones, and much more advanced. The kit allows fighters to practice various scenarios, while the instructor records everything and then analyzes the potential errors and areas for improvement says Ilya, another employee who asked us not to use his last name. There are several settings. When the fighter is hit, it vibrates or sends a small shock wave. Obat says simulated training like theirs can increase the survival rate of Ukrainian fighters by 30 percent. But currently, only 15 percent of soldiers have access. The training centers transfer the simulators from one to another when they train certain units. Obat says the war pushes Skiff Tech and other Ukrainian companies to work faster. He says they've gotten so good, he's trying to break into the U.S. market. His first step was to work with local police. We serve as a technical contractor and deliver equipment for a company called DGN that's been supplying equipment for police training for the last two decades. Obad says he is working toward a day when he can focus on producing simulators for other countries because the fighting has ended in Ukraine. For Irina Salomka in Kiev, Ukraine, NRIs, BOA News.